Greetings cocktail aficionados, it's John Moser with another edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. Hey, things have really been busy for me with the semester wrapping up, the holidays. I'm also in a show down in the Mansfield Playhouse if anybody's interested in that. Uh, so I haven't had much time to make videos, but I have a little bit of time this afternoon and I thought I would put one up. Uh, and the drink I'm going to show you how to make is called the Tierra del Fuego. And it's only, it's not an old drink, it only goes back to 2016. It's a drink that was designed by Andrew Saliga. Andrew Saliga is a, uh, is a cocktail writer uh, and he is the uh, creator and maintainer of a website called The Humble Garnish, which I recommend. Lots of good ideas for drinks on that site. Anyway, in 2016, he, this was his entry into a contest in honor of Negroni Week. Uh, although in many ways it's different from a traditional Negroni. What it has in common is Campari, but pretty much everything else is, is different, although you do certainly have that, that Campari bitterness there. Uh, in any case, the Tierra del Fuego is not a complicated drink, but it's a very attractive one. And I'll show you how to make it, but first I'm going to show you what you're going to need. So as I mentioned, it has something in common with the Negroni. It looks a little like a Negroni. It's a lot like a Negroni, but many of the contents are different. Um, first of all, and most importantly, instead of gin, which is the base spirit for your classic Negroni, uh, it takes uh, tequila. And we're gonna use this Añejo from 1800. Um, it, uh, the actual recipe calls for half ounce each of tequila and mezcal. I don't have any mezcal, we're just gonna do a whole ounce of the tequila. And then, in place of the vermouth, this is what really excites me about the drink, Ancho Reyes, I made one drink with this some time ago. I'm very excited to have another opportunity to make a, a cocktail with it because this stuff is delicious. It is ancho chile, uh, that chili liqueur. It, it tastes really good. It's gonna really give a, a kick of spiciness. Then the Campari. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna hit it with some bitters. You can use a variety of different bitters. The recipe suggests something that is spicy and smoky. I have these, uh, these bitters called Fire Tamer from a company called Strongwater Mountain Elixirs. Our friends uh, uh, Nelson and Lorelei got these for me a few years ago for my birthday. Great gift, by the way. Uh, and I dropped a few on my tongue and woo, there's a little spicy kick to that. So it's gonna complement these, uh, these other ingredients well. Uh, and then we're going to use a, an orange peel, which I've already taken the liberty of cutting as the garnish. All right, those are all the things you're gonna need in order to make the drink. Let's make it! The Tierra del Fuego, like the uh, classic Negroni, is a drink that's better stirred than shaken. It does not include any citrus or any dairy or any egg, nothing that you really have to mix up that much. So we have the mixing glass and spoon. All right, the classic Negroni is an ounce each of Campari, Vermouth, and Gin. Instead, we are substituting, well, we're using the Campari, so let's put the Campari in first. One ounce of Campari. And by the way, if you don't like the bitterness of Campari, you might consider swapping it out for Aperol. Aperol is considerably sweeter, and it's got the same beautiful red color to it. Okay, here's the Añejo. We got an ounce of that. And an ounce of the Ancho Reyes. And then we are going to do about six dashes of this, and there's an eyedropper, so I'm just going to shoot that in there six times. Two, three, four, five, six. And we'll give it a good stir. Mm. I love the smell that's coming out of this. All right, that's a good one. All right, we'll take a nice big ice cube and drop it into a rocks glass. And then we're gonna strain our drink onto it. And then we take this lemon 
peel and we will express the juices over the top and then perch it on the edge. Okay, here's the Tierra del Fuego. It smells wonderful. I'm gonna take a sip. Oh wow, oh, it's really good. Delicious, spicy, perfect for kind of a cold afternoon like this. Uh, and you certainly get the, uh, the taste of the Campari in there as well. This is a fantastic drink and I hope you give it a try. Anyway, until next time, cheers.